is an ultrasound study of a cirrhotic liver of a 70 years old female. Here you are seeing the right lobe of the liver. This is the right lobe of the liver showing generalized reduced photosurface area. This is the right hemidiaphragm. This is the gallbladder. And this is the fluid surrounding the outer surface of the liver. Note that the fluid, uh, in the fluid, uh, there, there are echoes, low level echoes, uh, because uh, in routine what we see is without uh, complications, the cirrhotic liver when surrounded by fluid, the fluid appears black as this area, whereas this fluid is not black but uh, it is uh, it is you see now you now I'm showing you the fluid part mainly. You can see uh, low level equals floating within this fluid. Now this is just a portion of the liver in this view, this is the gallbladder and this is the top fluid being filled with the low level floating apples. Here we are. You can see the movement within this fluid. Uh, this is the right kidney is normal. So this is the right lobe of the liver showing generalized reduced total surface area and now I'm going to show you the left lobe of the liver which is normal in dimensions. That's why I usually report that uh, the the right lobe of the liver shows generalized reduced total surface area with normal dimensions that of the left lobe. This is the transfer section of the left lobe. This is the um, ascending branch of the left portal vein. This is the ascending uh, anterior horizontal branch entering the ascending part of the left portal vein. So this is a better way of reporting uh, the dimensions of the liver rather than uh, giving the measurement in millimeters or centimeters. Similarly, you can see the correct lobe and you can report. Now this is the longitudinal section of the liver. This is the ligamentum venosum. This is the correct lobe of the liver or segment one of the liver. And you know, this is the IBC forcing posterior to it. Now this, in this case, we are seeing another thing that we can see is uh, umbilical hernia. This is the umbilical region. And what you are seeing is a magnified view of uh, the umbilical hernia with bowels and fluid in this. This is the just this is the skin only 5.5 millimeters below the skin you are seeing an outpouching at the glycol region measuring approximately 55.2 by 2.7 centimeters and in it you will see bowel segment. These are the bowel segments. Over this is the bowel segment. This is the bowel segment, and this is the fluid part. This is the fluid pocket. Part of this umbilical hernia. There is ascites, and the ascitic fluid also contains, uh, shows us uh, internal echoes with bubbles floating in it. Here we are. This is the longitudinal section of the pelvis and you can see a postmenopausal uterus. This is the uterus. These ecogenicities are 
suggestive of postmenopausal uterus. This is all fluid and you can see that the fluid is filled with echoes. This is the urinary bladder in transfer section. However, in the region of the right at the next uh, there is a thin wall ecofil cyst cystic area this area it, I'm going to give a sweep to the probe to see if it changes its shape it does not change its shape this is a ovarian pathology in this this is an ovarian cyst filled with the uh, different strength echoes measuring the cyst measures 5.3 by 4.3 centimeters and uh, remember this is the urinary bladder this is the cystic area these filled with different strength internal echoes posterior wall acoustic enhancement is seen it did not change it does not change its shape when I give a sweep to the probe, once again I want to show you the same. Here you see I have given almost more than 90 degree sweep and it remains the same. It can be an aggressive pathology as a cause of uh, the above mentioned findings. So, the fluid part. This is the fluid in the peritoneal cavity and you can see the echoes, low level echoes floating within it. This is, this is again a, a fluid pocket and you can see this is a fish shaped uh, bubble segment which is appearing as a, this appears as a mouth of the fish eye of the fish but this is not a fish in fact this is uh, a bowel segment floating within the uh, aseptic fluid now this is the transfer section and in transfer section you can see that uh, this is the left ovary this is the transfer section of the postmenopausal uterus and here is the this is the area a complex uh, complicated cystic area filled with different strength internal lipos and with internal cystic areas so, so echogenic areas are seen though no calcification is seen this is the fluid in the pelvic cavity also filled with uh, echoes Here we are. You can see the transfer section of the uterus. We know puzzle because you can see cogenicity surrounding its uh, outer surface. This is the uterus. This is the mass, complicated mass, ecogenic area, measuring 6.2 by 6.2 by 6.9, approximate size, and uh, well, this is the uterus this area this is the urinary bladder and this is the mass okay complicated right ovarian mass with Solid, uh, this is a, sorry, an ecogenic mass with internal cystic areas. No calcification is seen, and this is the fluid within the pelvic cavity. 
This is the fluid in the pelvic cavity. This is the transfer section of the pelvis. Thank you very much.